Welcome back for more tips and tricks for PlayStation. In this video, I'm going to show you two really quick and easy things you can do to fix slow performance on PS4. As most of you know, the PlayStation 4 has been around for quite some time and has seen many updates, new features, and improvements. But the one thing that many users have started to complain about in the recent years is slow performance, freezing, as well as issues with the user interface. For example, if you're scrolling through the system dashboard and begin to notice stuttering or slow animations, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. The truth is, the only way to completely fix slow performance on PS4 is to upgrade your system hard drive to an SSD, but this does cost money and can get pretty expensive. Luckily, the two tricks that I'm about to show you today are things that you can do right now to help fix slow performance and don't cost any money whatsoever. So make sure to leave a like rating on the video and we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing is to clear out the PS4's temporary system files or cache memory. Doing this is actually very simple. Just make sure the PS4 is completely off, then remove the power cable and wait at least 30 seconds seconds before plugging it back in. As simple as it sounds, doing this will force the PlayStation 4 to delete any accumulated temporary system files that could be slowing down the console. After the PS4 is plugged back in, the next step is to hold down the power button until it beeps twice. This will allow the PlayStation 4 to start into safe mode. Scroll down and select the option that says Rebuild Database. What this will do is scan the PS4 hard drive and create a new database of all the contents on the system. Depending on your console, this process should only take a few moments, but once the database rebuild is complete, the system will restart and you'll be good to go. I recommend you repeat this process at least once a month if you again begin to notice slow performance over time. However, you should consider upgrading your PS4 hard drive to a much faster SSD if you're looking to achieve longer lasting performance. But now you know two easy things that you can do to help fix slow performance on PlayStation 4. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful or at least interesting, make sure to leave a like rating, comment below to let me know what you think, and as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video. Boys.